Hello again to the gamers. We're back with Slay the Spire. I'm going to put my camera up maybe right there. And I, I got to tell you, it's uh, an exciting day. I beat Ascension 19. I'm going to go right there. On my phone. Now, you're going to say, how'd you do it? I, I don't want to get into the war stories because it's kind of boring for everybody but me talking as if, like, uh, anybody else really cares. I'll give you the cliff notes, okay? Sneko Eye Meteor Strike and unceasing top. So the, the engine of the run was you get a lot of draw early, it confuses you, so Meteor Strike costs less than five every time. Then you play Meteor Strike, sometimes for zero, sometimes for three, but it gives you three energy back in your orbs. And then you draw a card, it evokes an orb, you got more energy, you keep drawing with unceasing top. Sometimes you strike out and you get like a three cost base strike or something, but it got us there. It got us there. Of the, and now we're back on Ascension 13. Poor bosses. Well, it sounds like their problem, not my problem, to be honest with you. I'll take a rare colorless card. And, uh, I mean, I think that there's a few ways to play this. Panache can be great if you're running, like, a zero-cost build. But me, personally, I take it a lot when I get it in this situation and I find it inconsistent. Transmutation, I just, I mean, don't get me wrong, I can see it. I just kind of see it like a worse echo form in the sense that we tend to want to play this when we have answers to what our opponent is doing already, i.e. they're doing nothing or maybe debuffing us, then we're like, okay, we can get three random cards that cost zero, but I, I find it hard to justify playing it on most draws, whereas Master of Strategy might be a little boring, but I think it just gets you where you want to go, man. I think it just gets you where you want to go. Now, there's a, a possible three elite line here. See, I would even master of strategy here, and then, you know, we play two defends. We don't feel too bad about it. And now that I think about it, I kind of got a little uh, big for my britches. We should probably try to remove this shame from a shop on this line, if it's possible. It is. It is, and we can still fight three elites. One of them would just be uh, super official. Um, it's nasty to take 12 damage there, but... You know, we don't really control what we draw, at least this early in the game, so let's not sweat it too much. Early Glacier. Things you love to see. Yeah, I'd really rather not deal with the shame if I can avoid it. Even if it essentially costs us a relic. Send it. Sucks to be frail, but two blocks is necessary to block all the damage anyway here, and it's only for one turn. We're one dual, uh, dual cast away from killing you, essentially. And a little extra help. Okay, so far so good. Um, I think early on, my axiom, you need draw and you need uh, attacks. So Sweeping Beam might not be my favorite card, but it fits the bill. Now let's take a peek, okay? I'm, I'm guilty of playing too fast in shops. I wouldn't mind a charge battery. I wouldn't mind one aggregate. And Thunderstrike is cheap, we just don't summon... Like, if I'd gotten a Ball Lightning or something, I might even be persuaded to do this. But I think we gotta just remove the shame, and uh, we can't afford anything else. That's a little conservative, but you know what? It is what it is. I think we slow play this one. Get two orbs out there, because you're two dual casts away from dying anyway. Evoke one, get some passive block, one dual cast away from finishing the job. I, I'm, I'm kind of, I feel like a, in a way I'm turning into like a Slay the Spire robot a bit. Let me take a peek at what we get here. Obviously two of these doesn't finish the job. A zap hits you for eight. I think you got to defend. We still take a nasty hit. And then let's keep you like with an orb at the front that can kill you with a dual cast because we're going to draw it next turn in all likelihood. But I, I feel like I've done a better job of like... I don't know, like looking, and by the time I reached the end of the last Slay the Spire series, I don't know, three years ago, something like that, I was on muscle memory, right? I was like, these are, this is the right choice for this event, this is the, right, the best card out of these three, and then I was losing, and I was like, this game's too hard, basically. Now I'm like, sometimes you gotta make what in a vacuum is not the quote-unquote best choice from an EV standpoint, and make the choice that keeps you alive, or helps you... Even if it's not the best card, if it specifically helps you against an elite you might face, then that allows you to have a better chance of get a relic. The relic could possibly, you know, let you beat the boss on this. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to understand the loop, okay? I'm giving up on the three elite dream. 
and I'm, I'm trying to be sane here. A zero cost zap will never steer you wrong. The ability to evoke those frost orbs will, will be helpful. And like right off the bat, turn one just like that, I don't mind at all. Slow play it and then maybe one day we'll get a self repair. We should be so lucky, right? Make sure you always got to defend in hand just in case because you're doing 13 damage this turn. That's no joke, brother. That's no joke. I would like to not take damage, so let's zap. And then we can now take zero damage and still hit you. We need to find a different kill shot because dual cast doesn't or dual cast doesn't really work here, but it can still give us. Well, here's what I think you do: rebound a dual cast, and then kill you. <laughs> I was getting too uh, too ahead of myself. I think that's a skip for me personally. And now here's where things might get a little dicey. Because I, I think our deck is, I mean, it's not horrible, like, all things being equal, but it's pretty bad from the perspective of, like, killing enemies, particularly elites, as fast as possible. Send it, send it, it's worth. But I might be wrong. I'm, I'm wrong about things in this game uh, all the time, quite frankly. We're definitely going to kill you and take no extra damage after that. Strawberry is kind of like a heal in and of itself. Um... This is a really good example of what we were talking about, I think. Because most, like, in, immediately my brain is like, go cold snap. It does damage, we need damage, it, it possibly evokes an orb, it gives you some frost, that's good. But I'm realizing, like, I need to do some damage to take you out. Multicast, it, what's it going to do? Three evokes on a lightning? Like, it's not that big of a deal yet. Maybe later it would be good. I really think we need to send one darkness orb into the mix here just to theoretically have enough damage to kill the boss, to be honest with you. So we play the darkness orb, and then, yeah, I would, I would rebound the zap here. No defense turn one. I would actually consider that, like, very positive because we kill an enemy faster on the turn where they don't do that much damage to us. Um, let's zap. Zap and please don't hit you. Huge. Because then dual cast kills you at the cost of the orb, admittedly. And then I'm going to do something that might not be advisable. I'm going to slow play these guys, even though we're going to get tons of voids added into our hand. Um, let's start with this. We might get a zap or something. And then, okay. I, I really just feel like we need to err on the side of, like... Let's, let's give our draw a chance to save us, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And we're bringing back, what is it, a dual cast next turn? So we can't take damage, which is beautiful. And then all we need to do is maybe get two attacks and you're done. Am I... Is this what growth is? <laughs> is this... Is this me getting better in Slay the Spire? Or is this, I don't know, good draw? I don't know, I don't know, man. I'm getting too cocky, okay? It's, a, it's Ascension 13. Keep your head on a swivel. Uh, this one, for me, is not even close. Unless we... I, I like Creative AI. If we had Mummified Hand or um, Bird-Faced Urn, I'd take this probably. But Electrodynamics is just so helpful on the encounters that I feel like we, we can't say no. And then drawing it early is just uh, disgusting. So, you should give me something like that. And, and I'm already... You're, the Spike Slime is already dead next turn without us even doing anything. Which means that you're probably already dead. You are on 11 HP. You are deceased, man. You're deceased. One self-repair and all of a sudden we got like a little self-sustaining run. Now, I do like a compile drop. I think the next step, obviously we want to upgrade our cards. But if we could start removing the basic strikes, because it's like our orbs are dealing the damage, it's nice to have the defense. Start removing the strikes... Draws important. More orbs might be important too. You know, I'm gonna err on the side. Oh, whoops! I forgot two cards. I'm gonna err on the side of more orbs. And I do like machine learning, but I want to make sure we're drawing. We have the best chance possible to draw electrodynamics early. So I'm actually gonna take nothing. And I'm gonna. I mean, these are crazy plays. I'm gonna upgrade Master of Strategy early because it gives us a better chance if we don't draw electrodynamics of then getting electrodynamics. Let's do a rebound glacier into a zap. We're, we're taking one damage, no big deal. This way we got glacier next turn. Just stay, stay protected. Because we are like, um, we're very much slow playing the, the fights here. 
This must kill you. I don't. I mean, I know I said let's do the math, and then I'm like not doing the math, but like, come on, look at it. Yeah, it kills you by one. Easy. Didn't even have to think about it. <sighs> Me personally, I think it's nice to have one melter in the deck. And then these, I would skip. I don't think we need two melters. Because even the melter works well against this guy, but it works really well against some Act 2 enemies in particular that I'm thinking of. Big, I should learn their name at some point. Big Sphere that has low base HP but puts on a ton of shield. Let's get that dude out of here. I'm sick of that dude. I would prefer to not take damage this turn, but let me... You know what? There's always the chance that he drops uh, a potion, at which point we will be pleased that we use the potion from op an opportunity con uh, cost standpoint. Let's go rebound defend just to stay... Uh, just to make sure that we're consistent with our defense, because... The only thing that could really screw me right now, I think, is is horrible variance in draw. At least immediately. Prayer Wheel and Question Card is really... It's, it's given me the world's my oyster, man. It's a great illustrative example of how this can work well for us. Now, I feel like I can really customize my deck. Now, I don't really want any of this. Barrage is, like, close, but I always feel like... I take it and then I'm, like, mad I drew it. And then, I know we got the extra orbs, but it, we need to upgrade it. We need to upgrade Capacitor. It's like a low priority card if we only have three energy, I think. Same thing, like, I'm not necessarily sold on Bullseye here. But it, it does pair nicely with, like, a Darkness Orb if we need to do a lot of damage. And we should really look at both, I guess, before we choose. But I, I'm just a believer in Static Discharge, honestly. And then, here's the way I see this going down. You level Static Discharge, because it gets twice as good. And the orbs are probably our, our main method for killing. And then you see what you get here out of the Power Potion, because the boss will likely drop a potion. So I'll just I'll play a Defrag on it. And early, let's get Electrodynamics out there. Because I, I want to stop you from doing your attack on turn two, which seems very likely, especially with a Melter. So I guess I'll, I'll melt you first, and then bullseye you. And, uh... <clears throat> I'm not worried about the shield, just, just leave the orbs there for now. On this turn. Static Discharge is a must. Let's, let's just, let's chill on this turn. I don't have the energy to play that second defend. I don't know why I thought I did. But hey, look, we get orbs out of it, so maybe it's okay. Um... This is where you'd like to have some more defense. <laughs> I'll defend. Uh, let's get a Darkness Orb closer to the front. So we're actually, like, in pretty tight here. This would be a great turn to draw a Glacier on. Oh, well, it didn't get close to the front. It, it went past the front. Um, so Rebound, Bullseye, Strike, and then let me see. So you're going to take you're gonna take 30. I don't need to use the Potion. It was tempting, don't get me wrong, but... And then Glacier is like a must here. And then Dual Cast should very nearly kill you. Obviously, I could just kill you, but you're already dead. So let's hold the potion. So this might look like, oh, it got really close. For me, that means we planned everything like as well as we could have expected to. Let's think. So... <sighs> I see why they make you pick the rare before you get the the relic. Because if we knew Sneko was coming, I could go for a phone remix. We got some two-cost cards. We have very few zero-cost cards. You take Sneko Eye, you take Meteor Strike, you get your orbs whipping around. I think, like, all for one, it just doesn't fit the archetype. <laughs> Forgive the use of the A word. It doesn't, it doesn't fit the theme of the deck. We're not bringing back Claws or, you know, FTLs or Go for the Eyes or Beam Cell. So it's just a no-go. Core Surge is good. And at least it allows us to tank a biased Cognition, which would be a great power to get. And we stand a really good chance to get it with Question Card and Prayer Wheel. And Hyper Beam, I just think, is a no-go this late. Maybe early on, it's a great first rare so that you can get through encounters super easy. But I think we got we to gotta play the numbers here and take Core Surge. Now, of these, I really need to smith my cards. We, it's floor one. We got a lot of stuff that needs to be upgraded. This darkness in particular needs to be upgraded. 
probably bullseye, probably glacier. We got a lot of cards to remove. I think we could deal with enemies having extra strength and we, we could really benefit from that energy. I'm not just defaulting to this because it's an energy relic. We have no guarantee of getting, like if we had Elephant Beast statue, I might be more persuaded for Sacred Bark, but sure, I'll, I'll leave it on the line for Philosopher's Stone, even though this is like the scariest floor for it. I'll give it a try. So I, with Electrodynamics, I think we can go Elite Hunting, but we also definitely want to hit a shop, and there's only two Elites on any given path. There's three if we want to fight Superman, but Superman never made any freaking money saving the world from Solomon Grundy, so I'm not too worried about that right now. I'm not too worried about that. We know we're going to play Glacier. <clears throat> and I'm like, Bullseye will make this do 12 each. So if it hits you, you would, let's say I go for you. You'd be on 40. Sorry, I got to close my right eye to think. You'd be on 40. That's why pirates were always calculating the angles of the cannons and stuff, the actuarial tables for where the balls are going to fall. You'll be on 40, and I would need to get you to 20. So you would need to get hit by both of the um, dual casts, which is a low percentage chance. So in this house, we don't take those odds. We take a defend, um, and we do still bullseye you. But we, we play the slow play here, unfortunately. I'm, I'm sure there might be some disagreement in there, but this is how I see it. Now... Electrodynamics is a big one. We have seven block and no means to get more block. Ah, uh, no, 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 not true. Um, a darkness orb will give you more block. And then I think we have to kill you. <laughs> we have to use our potion. Kill you. Take the two damage. The thing I think our deck needs right now, a self-repair would be very, very, very nice. I don't even know if I'm going to get you, unfortunately. Well, we should. I mean, 31 damage. We're, we're at this stage of our life where that should be doable. You start here because that, that Darkness Orb is too good. Okay, so we at least get this back. Self-repair would go crazy. I do think that, like a Ball Lightning is just a good card. I don't mind having that. And then... I, I, I like Compile Driver, but I think we have we have a good draw already. I'm gonna I'm gonna send it, man. Well, no, let me think. If I bet fifty, this will it'll take me to two eighty four if I win, which is enough to buy like a pretty good relic. Let's see. We lost the bet. All right. Well, <laughs> let's think of it this way. We were probably gonna be at one eighty four no matter what. Greatest uh, Melter pickup of all time. Completely justified its existence immediately. I don't think we need a double energy. I actually don't think we need any of those, but I, I appreciate the offers. Don't get me wrong. Similarly, I don't think we need any of those. It'd be insane to get Singing Bowl. It'd be insane. And I think this is just like universally true as the defect. It would be insane to get um, any power playing relic. By which I mean, because it sounds like what, what I just said doesn't make sense. I'm going to focus up here because you're, you're cheesing me off. Um, mummified Hand, Bird Face Urn. That's basically what I'm getting at. Any, anything that gives us a refund or a benefit for playing powers would go crazy. I'll take a Seek. You know what? I will take an upgraded Bullseye. And then this, this is where things are going to get a little dicey. <laughs> Uh, I, we, we remove a strike, and I think we buy buffer, which I think is just a great card. And then honestly, I don't want to die, so why don't you give me a skill potion, which is a bit of a Hail Mary, and I'm, I'm gonna rest, which I take no pleasure in, but I, I just don't know what the world looks like against these elites. So this is a no-brainer, you definitely pop this, and let's see what we can get out of this. I would, I would take a reboot. And then with two energy, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to play it, man. We could seek. I don't want to seek for something that costs one, okay? It would be nice to weaken you. I don't think that's going to happen. Static is big here. Buffer is like eight block. 
we we could do better with buffer as much as i hate to say it i feel like the mature decision is like uh you would take 24 damage knowing that a buffer could save you like hopefully on a future turn if the fight even lasts that long which i don't think it's gonna but yeah like you're cooked already well that that sucked but we did win and pen nib is nice obviously we got problems really only get one a oh, normal enemies drop an additional card sorry uh listen okay we're 20 minutes in i think we have two options before us one option is take the safe path rest maybe f kill the boss the other option is swing for the fences and I think we swing for the fences because I don't think we... It's another shop. I don't believe it. <laughs> I didn't want the dead... Uh, the dead uh, node from the shop. But that's exactly what we got, man. But anyway, I, I just thought like this was a situation where for me it made more sense to take a risk. We basically need Glacier. I think it's the only card that keeps us from dying. And even then we have three life. So it's pretty bad. Um, let's start with a sweeper. See what you get. I would go bullseye, bullseye, core surge, and then, like, we've got quite a lot of damage out there. And it's not gonna matter. <laughs> it's not gonna matter. Um, I think, honestly, I think we made a mature decision. I know that sounds bad. Because we just the decision we made led us to lose, but I think we basically said we we had the metaphorical man on the bridge, seventy percent chance to die on Act Three, or a thirty percent chance to die on Act Two. But a, I think I completely inverted it. Don't even worry about it. I don't know what I'm talking about. These are all very tempting. Remove one card for no damage, which probably means we can upgrade a card or fight an elite. Random common relic, you never know. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take the, the base case, man. I'm gonna take the, the free lunch, as they say. And then early, I wanna engage in a lot of combat because I want more attacks in my deck. That's why we cut a defense. I don't mind this, I don't mind this. Now, would I prefer enemies for three encounters have uh, one HP? I don't know, maybe, but maybe that's because I'm basic. Hold the how-to. Now, ball lightning, ball lightning, ball lightning. Next time, next time. I think cool headed is it's it's the free lunch of cards. Like we we're never gonna be sad that we got a cool headed, right? You draw it, you get two block, you draw another card, that card is echo form, you're going to the moon. <laughs> you buy you get a doll, you find four quarters on the ground, it's a dollar, you go into the store, you buy a lottery ticket, now you're a millionaire. That's basically what I just said. But we you know what? There's dozens of stories like that throughout the incalculable length of human history so why not us and why not now love by ball lightning might be my favorite card to see in act one you see it and you're like i'm happy this is an easy take i'm gonna take biased cognition and hope to kill enemies fast and we'll deal with the artifact problem later because <laughs> it it on any, there's probably just a rule, right? Like it gives you three focus. So if you finish the fight in three turns, you feel like you, you got a, I don't want to say free lunch for the thousandth time this episode, but you feel like it was worth it. Well, let's just kill him. And most of these fights will be done in three turns. Maybe at some point we'll get like, we'll go to a shop. And uh, life will be even easier because we'll get like, hey, start each fight with one artifact. Let's upgrade bias. It gives us like one or two extra turns. And we, I think we really need to be elite farming. If we're going to do this, we need to farm elites. This fight will probably be somewhat long. Let's pop this. Now, I don't... <laughs> we, we, have to, we have to go with bias. Or do you wait a turn? You wait a turn. You get more strength. You summon more orbs. Let's put a Frost Orb at the back. I think that's a perfect setup now. It would be amazing to draw Biased on this turn. We didn't, but we're gonna... We're gonna orb it up with the best of them, and we've gained extra strength, and we'll get Biased on this turn. After we play this. <laughs> well, we're definitely gonna get it next turn, is the important part. 
I would honestly, I would, I would stall you out on this one. We take eight damage, big whoop, what do we care? Bias comes out, all of a sudden, we're taking three damage and hitting you for 10,000. We're smacking you. I mean, we're smacking you good, the fight's over. Molten Egg, crazy good card to start with, holy cow. And I, I'd just like a hologram, honestly. I'd be happy to add it. And then let's... I'm going to make a decision to ignore the Golden Idol, even though gold is important, because right now I'm fixated on the idea that we make these elites work for us, okay? So I'm going to Biased. Ball Lightning. And Strike, because hologram is just three block and bringing back nothing, and it exhausts. So I'd, I'd rather bring back a, a Ball Lightning later on when we have the energy base to support it. Smack you good. Decent evoke. And honestly, here... I want to give you a chance to take 10 damage off the table. Yes! <laughs> that, it's a little spicy. That's a little spicy, but we're in there. Okay, I prefer not to take damage. So let's do that. And now the orbs just, just finish the job for me. Now, are we going to sneak that third elite in? I honestly don't know. Let's see what relic we get. Bronze scales, quite nice. Honestly, as much as I want that upgraded ball lightning, I, I just love having like one boot sequence. White beast statue is good. I'm now realizing it's actually a, we have to fight the super elite because I didn't think about the future at all. <laughs> Which is not rare for a guy like me. Um, in, in Slay the Spire, in real life, I think about it, you know, as much as anybody, I think. I don't know how much anybody thinks about the future. Probably the more you think, the older you get, the more you think about it. I'll tell you that. Sure, give me a charge battery. Anyway, either way, we have to fight this super elite. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say mission accomplished with an asterisk, and I am gonna take a rest, just because I want to make sure that what feels like a very promising run right now doesn't just get snuffed out of existence by like an elite that hard counters us. So this is definitely going to wake you up, but it's or cause you to split, but you're going to split at like 18 life. Yeah, which is, we basically have you on lethal if we can evoke a single orb, I think. Yeah, no I mean, listen, we could flex on him, but by just hitting end turn, but that's not necessary. Uh, none of these fit, but I, I really like our deck right now. The, the number one thing I think that I have to keep in mind is that it would be extremely nice to get a an artifact, either from a core surge or alternatively from a uh, from a relic that we could buy from the shop for approximately as much money as we presently have access to. We do 27. Cool head is a bit spicy then. Worth. Now this will evoke, you'll take 26 damage. Which will put you on 15 and then you die to the fire orb. Okay, not even that bad. Turnip is pretty sick. We can't become frail. Buffer is like an unbelievable... Well, I guess you might as well take the Emerald Key. People keep asking about the heart. One day. Maybe one day, okay? I got lots of stuff to think about. <laughs> got lots of stuff to worry about first. I, I think this is a beautiful setup. I like Lantern, for sure. I think we don't necessarily... I'm, I'm trying to get out of the idea that energy is like always a crutch, right? That we want to use. We get 10 block for free on turn one. We may not need one extra energy as much as we need two extra draw to raise our chances of getting like bias cognition early. So why don't you give me that draw? And then normally you'd be like, okay, snap. Instantly I'm going to remove uh, like a defend or a strike. But I'm actually going to add a melter knowing... And I'm going to buy this power potion just to keep us... Give us a little margin of safety. Um, and honest, ah, buffer is so good on the second floor. I'll do it now and the hologram next, probably. Um, I think that was right. Melter is just because, like, we expect to come across some annoying enemies in the future, man. So let's do it. So this is basically two lightning. I think do we, have, we have buffer as well. So the other storm is two lightning, but slow. <laughs> and machine learning is draw one extra card. I think we'd honestly rather have the machine learning. And then here's the scary part, because I think we have to kill you like with attacks. Because 
we're, you're probably going to still be alive when I have zero focus. I really don't want to get hit for 24. <laughs> like, that's, that's a pretty nasty turn. We got to get the lightning orbs whipping around. I forgot bronze scales is going to do a number on you, so that's nice. Let's get these orbs whipping. Uh, I know, like, we have a buffer in there, but this guy kind of counters buffer a little bit. It's great to have it for the next floor, I think. But then we get the orbs freaking whipping around, dude. Whipping around. We're going to take eight, but I, I need to get in there because I'm on a clock, okay? This is not a slow play situation. This is a fast play situation. Let's get this out of here. Um, strike, strike. Honestly, strike, strike. We don't need to play anything else. This is like now we're on the baseline. So this is really where we want to kind of finish the job, ideally. Because it's not getting any easier. <laughs> then now you're going to be on two and evoking is going to do seven. So like even we're getting to the point where like a dual cast isn't even that good. Um, well, you are going to, you're going to be in a world of hurt here just as a result of the bronze scales, which I appreciate. And we do have you, but it's, it's a nasty way to do it. All right. We want, just reminding myself, we always want to see echo form. We always want to see electrodynamics. We always want to see seek. We would love to see core surge here to really get biased popping. Second bias is too scary for me. I think we go electrodynamics. It, it just, the ability to hit those enemies wide is very valuable. And I think this is a beautiful Sneko Eye, man. We got a two cost, two cost. It's risky. I just, I don't mess with Velvet Choker, okay? It's not my tempo. I think we take Sneko Eye. Not like, oh, we need it as a Hail Mary to get out of jail. We love the extra draw. We'll start hopefully removing cheap cards, adding really expensive high value cards. Maybe Echo Form could show up. Sometimes you're going to get a kind of a, you got to, let's just put it this way. You got to take the good with the bad. <laughs> it's the best way to think about it. You got to take the good with the bad, okay? I mean, buffers three energy here. Whereas I feel like we would rather three energy, play it forward or pay it forward a bit. You know, we, we get one extra energy next turn that kind of smooths us out a little bit. Actually, it would be a sick time to have a buffer, but the buffer is going to come back as a three cost. That's a bummer, man. That's a bummer. Is there anything we could bring back at a... We could bring back a charge battery at a one cost? Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to do it like this. It's got me a little cheesed. I'm not going to lie to you, Okay. But now this is where we get our, our beautiful zero cost drops. And I'm, I couldn't be more grateful. Thank you so much. Seven block, no need to play it. Just evoke some lightning instead. The thing is, as soon as you get Snack OI, I think in my Slay the Spire history, I falsely thought that you basically take this as a meme. It's not a meme. It's a different strategy to build around. It, I don't know if I would say Sneko I the, the confusion can be good or bad. It took me a while to internalize this after people started, I was going to say yelling at me, but really it's constructive criticism. <laughs> and I'm just playing it up for a, my own amusement, I suppose. But it's not uh, yelling, it's constructive criticism. The benefit is the draw. And it, it, honestly, we could get start each combat with one artifact, and then we avoid the confusion, and we'd probably be happier now, but if we have a whole floor to, like, tailor our run. We don't need to play boot sequence. Channel some, some of this and some of that. Now you're all in trouble. Um, we have a whole floor to fix our run so that we have expensive cards that are likely to provide disproportionate value from Sneko Eye, and then we're getting the free lunch, if you'll forgive the parlance, off the extra draw. I like to have something like a, an X-cost card. It's just kind of like a variance smoother. <laughs> As no matter what, we'll always... What, what a horrible draw, by the way. Um, but no matter what, we'll always be able to... Uh, play that for what it's worth. Can't become frail. That's very nice. How about some Electro? How about you're doing 24 damage to me? That's kind of nasty. Kind of disrespectful, to be honest. I guess I would remove your block. Beats uh, summoning a couple lightning into block, I suppose. But obviously I'm not, like, thrilled about our health. But 
We're, we're hoping that self-repair shows up at some point. Regen potion, very helpful. I mean, chill is great if we can make it cost zero, which is not likely. <laughs> hmm. Sucks we can't afford apotheosis, honestly. Um, we can't really afford anything. Do we have another shop? Not likely. Okay, let's, let's make our deck better. Let's remove... A, def a strike, sorry. Because we're, we're taking damage I'd prefer not to take. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I think we're in pretty tight right now. But I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to puzzle it out. You can always hologram back a zero-cost ball lightning. It feels pretty good. Zap another one out there. We take one damage. I, I would take one damage all day. Now, I kind of wish they didn't all hit uh, the enemy at the back, but... It should not really be a problem, because you're dead. <laughs> Which means we should have popped a potion. We probably need decks more. That's that's my bad. I'll add another hollow. Maybe hollow will cost more than one, but it'll also allow us to do to bring back something that is good value for us. Now. Let's rest. I want to live long enough to get rare cards that can save us. That's basically where I'm at. Not, save is not the right word. That would, that would fit our, <laughs> our value propositions on this run. Yeah, yeah. Did they buy it? Okay, cool-headed. Defend. Charge battery. We're taking no damage. Very important, because now buffer buys us a little bit of time. We even get to sneak two attacks out there. Beautiful. I don't expect to end this fight at full HP. That would, that would be surprising to me. Not impossible. Like, this is a crazy draw, dude. And then I don't even know what I'd want you to bring back. I mean, is zero... Like, what? Are, we're at 15 and you're going to do 21 and we have two... Okay, so we can bring back a basic defend. Now we're at 22 block. And we could just... Oh, we're going to evoke this orb anyway. We'll summon a bunch of lightning. And right now, we're, we're having our cake and we're eating it too. Now, this one, you might just want to accept your damage. Definitely rather Electro. Because we have the buffer there to back us up. Well, we're not going to be at full HP, but we're going to be... <laughs> we're going to be in there. Kind of surprising to me how, how well that went. Oddly smooth stone. Obviously not the... The incredible card we were hoping for, but like I feel like we got some tempo now. And in general, I guess with Sneko Eye, you want to upgrade cards not to make them cheaper, but make them better. So let's let's start with Electro, because we play it no matter what. Horn Cleat. Very valuable relic for me. This seems like a great starting hand. Let's go... Well, I don't even know if I can play a Colorless Potion now that I think about it. <laughs> let's make sure you're gone. Now we'll take it. I mean, there's lots of great stuff. We don't have a great attacking hand. I almost feel like you go violence and then... Like... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play this, we get three attacks in hand. We only had two in our draw pile. That's fine. Let's hologram... Or like, ball lightning hologram. Ball lightning. And we obviously want to make sure that we can kill you next turn. Wow, what a beautiful get there. Okay. So you're likely dead. <laughs> it would, don't get me wrong, by the way. You might have been screaming for me to take the artifact so that it like counters biased. And you might be right. But like, here's the way we're playing it right now. I'm not, I'm not going to pop that dual cast out there. I'm happy to have the orbs to help us against the minions next turn with the electrodynamics. Now things are getting serious, okay? This tears it. You're not dead, but you're close. Now you're dead. This will theoretically allow us to block enough here. Let's make sure you're dead. Sucks that defend doesn't... Oh, it does, because I have oddly smooth stone. That could have saved us a buffer. I don't think it's a... It's not a consequential misplay, but it's a misplay nonetheless. Either way, I think we might have you next turn. I think I think things are going kind of well, man. It depends on the Sneko draw, obviously. Maybe it doesn't. It's like, that's pretty good no matter what. 
You're taking 14, so I gotta hit you for like three, which I can't do. <laughs> but you're dead next turn. Yes, okay. Just finish the job. So far, so good. Mob bank. I never pay attention to it. That doesn't mean it's not good. <sighs> Listen, okay? I think we take a ball lightning. That's kind of the theme of the run, is electrodynamics plus ball lightning. So, like, who am I to spit in its face? Let's... Nothing cause zero. We know we're going to play electro. Make space in hand. Get your colorless potion out there. Um... You know, magnetism may be like, I think it might help us with confusion. Because like, it's not uh, beholden to the confusion. Like when it, when it adds it to the hand, it'll just cost what it normally costs. Unfortunately, it's like pretty much straight dookie, but okay. So let me think about this. Two evokes means that uh, you're dead. Three evokes. It'll, it'll one, two, let me think about it. So it'll do 16. There will be three lightning orbs out there. I think it finishes the fight, honestly. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta do the calculation. It's a no-brainer. Upgraded, two cost. Sign me up. And I would, I would upgrade strikes and defense, even though we've, we also want to remove them. Beautiful. Beautiful setup. Give me the attack, well, uh, no, you gotta play something first. Give me the bias cognition, give me the attack potion. Free meteor strike is gonna go crazy. We don't have electrodynamics, so let's kill one. Meteor strike. Let's get some frost orbs out there because we can't guarantee that enemies will be hit by our lightning right now, unfortunately. Now we got eight energy, pretty nuts, honestly. Me at the waxing bar. That's not what they say. Because see, they don't do that. They don't. I don't think they would end up in prison for medical malpractice. Your your back and your shoulders, sure. Your chest, maybe. They won't. They won't. They won't do that for you. Men aren't allowed to go to Brazil. What is he talking about? You've never been to the esthetician. You should consider yourself lucky. Okay. It does hurt a little bit, ladies. You know what I'm talking about. Horncleat, I forgot you even existed. Welcome to the party, pal. Uh, just buffer me, man. Like, this is a... We, we own you, basically. We own you. We got you dancing right now. And you're you're already dead. You got one HP. This is beautiful. It, it, it all came together, man. Sure, it's a three cost. Give me a creative AI. I'd be happy. No, I don't want the apparition. We don't have the cognitive capacity to use apparition. Okay, fine, we'll do it. No, well, no, we won't. Give me uh, the upgraded Tempest because it's it's nice to play it for value. Now, I think we'll be fine here, but you never know. I'm gonna play this, play this, and then let's see what power we get. Echo form. That's the best power. <laughs> it's that simple. And we'd love to see an electrodynamics. That's not it. I mean, it's kind of insane i mean listen we could summon eight lightning but with no electrodynamics it's kind of annoying we could also prevent the next four times we take damage and to be honest with you that's not even our whole turn but i'm kind of looking at this and i'm well actually i had to think about it two block i actually think the buffer is the play you buffer because we're on 14 block from Horn Cleat. That, that's not what we wanted to draw, but it might mean actually that the orbs can't steal it, which bizarrely might be for the best. But this allows us to have 16 block, which really may, I was worried we'd play, we'd lose two of the buffers just like to the eight times two, but we're actually at exactly the right amount of block, which is like a beautiful thing. So I'm, I'm not gonna complain about that. Now, we, we really... Creative AI is another one we don't want to lose, but Electro is more important right now. The biased, I could I could take it or leave it for the time being. Um, I mean, I'm not losing these buffers for nothing. They're too valuable. So let's, let's start with this doubled up Glacier. And with two energy remaining, I mean, it's a simple choice. Do you play Melter or do you play Strike? Uh, 
I think 14 is more than 9, so I'm going to play Melter. I'm a different kind of beast like that. Now, you're going to start hitting pretty hard. Doubled up Electro. We could use the damage burst this turn, so yeah, let's, let's double up on Electro. Let's summon 6 Lightning. Now you're spitting the creative AI back into my hand. I'm zapping you. I'm hologramming and then hoping to bring back something like a Glacier because I think at this point, all we need to do is keep these buffers alive. And if we keep the buffers alive, like cancel Christmas. I'll buy his Cognition on you. It's, it's like our part of our win condition. So get it out there and then just start spitting orbs like crazy. Lean into the buffers if you have to. Okay, orb me. Double on the orb there. How about bring it back? Orb me once more. Just don't orb me late for dinner. I, the confidence has returned on this run. And this is why we got buffer, man. I'll tell you what. I don't think we have to take damage. Because I, you might say creative AI and I don't necessarily disagree. But I'm going to double up on Glacier just because I want this guy to know that I only take damage right now when I choose to take damage. And I'm choosing to lose a buffer to take two damage. But I didn't have to do that. That's, that was my choice, okay? That was me that did that, not you. Now, we need orbs. So orb it up. Forget the capacity. That's, uh, I don't think it's relevant at all, actually. Because we're, we're very close to getting down to baseline focus. Honestly, again, you might think I'm losing my mind. I think we're on a timer, and the timer is like rapidly decroding. So rather than double up on the echo form, I'm like, get these orbs out. Well, the getting's good, man. Because <laughs> we're... It, it, I think we, we made the turn at the right time, but it was getting a little precious there. Okay, great stuff. Now, what do we want to see? Echo form. We just proved it. An echo form would be a beautiful thing to see. Without echo form, honestly, I think a thunder strike is very nice. It works in the opposite direction as bias cognition, which keeps us like having a win condition as we as the game goes on. Like bias cognition makes you weaker over time. Thunderstrike is going to get stronger over time, and it works well with Sneko Eye. So I, I like that a lot. We don't need five energy, but it's nice to smooth out the problems that you have with uh, with Sneko Eye. So the thing is. <laughs> Curse is pretty bad. We got so much money, we could likely remove it. Coffee Dripper is very scary to me right now. Normally, I'd be like, there's no downside. But with Sneko Eye, we might hit those clumpy turns where like, we draw five cards that all cost three and kind of suck. And then with no way to heal off of it, although White Beast Statue gives us a pretty good chance to get regen potions, I personally feel like we'll be more consistent with Cursed Key. Though I think that there will be some discussion over that, perhaps. But otherwise, I feel pretty good. And I, I think that we can Elite Hunt a bit. Um, yeah, and I don't... What well, do we... I'm trying to think... I don't think we really need to add more cards, which means we can hit the question marks and maybe get, like, you know get a rare relic, or upgrade all cards, but you can't heal anymore. It's a nice trade-off. So, what do we play? Good question. I don't like to take damage turn one. Let's play our, our zero-cost cards that hopefully keep us from taking damage. And then we should use a potion, because we know we're gonna dr get a potion anyway. Potion belt would go kind of crazy, too. So you're like, you're dead, man. Zero cost ball lightning goes insane. This is like 36 damage for one is disgusting. You're doing 13, so I'm I'm chill, man. I'll summon four more lightning. I mean this is uh <laughs> this is looking really good. You know what though? I should have uh I should have checked something else out on this floor. I'm gonna do it right now, although we don't have much choice of where we're going now. That's a skip for sure. We want to see a shop after the chest. And we have one on this path, which is good. So if the curse is horrible, we can still remove it, assuming we have the money. So what do we like here? I mean, Apotheosis is pretty great. It's 162. I'm trying to think. Are we going to be breaking enemy blocks? No, we're going to be doing most of our damage with orbs. 
It would be nice, like, one, two, three, to not have enemies in, like, any of these. Like, Juzu bracelet means we're only going to get encounters. Like, not, not enemy encounters, but, like, um, events. And I never buy it for that reason, but let's, let's give it a try, and let's try Apotheosis, too. This is a little bit, like, out of my comfort zone, but let's do it, man. And I would, I would be thrilled to duplicate a lot of cards in our deck. Um, I mean, creative AI is a, is a big one. It showing up early would be nice, but I also feel like you can't go wrong by duplicating an upgraded buffer. I think we lose max HP because we can't reliably expect madness to be playable for value. And I think this is, you lean in on this. We know we got a potion. This could be tough, but this is actually an insane start. <laughs> it's disgusting, man. And then, I mean, I guess I would start with auto shields just because it's free, but then like, yeah, electrodynamics, well, bias cognition first, then electrodynamics, then creative AI, a zero cost dual cast. And you guys are doing 27. This takes us to 26. Or I could just play this. Eh, that's not good. <laughs> I, I think I'd rather get to 26 than lose two buffers. We could also cool headed, and then you never know what you're gonna get, but I, I think you're both dead next turn. Like, we take one damage and you both die? Hopefully, it depends what you draw. Like, you could draw straight garbage, but I don't think we did. And then, surely, this just ends it, right? Yeah. Great, great fight. Ice cream. That is really gonna help us smooth out the potential problems with a, uh, with Sneko Eye. And I think you just, you just always like a self-repair. I think. Even though it, we may not be able to play it for value. Now, Apotheosis doesn't need the upgrade. Creative AI doesn't need the upgrade. Hologram is always going to be nice to be able to bring back around. Holy cow, we're 52 minutes into the run. What have I done? Now, you can be pretty annoying. I mean, ball lightning is always nice. No dual cast required. Let's zap. Makes lightning strike better in the future. Great turn for buffer. Great turn to get buffer. Bufferless. It's okay. Um, it, it's completely fine. We strike anyway because of zero. I'm, we don't play apotheosis. We get to 21 block. So we don't take damage. And we play creative AI to give us more buffers. Or more whatevers, honestly. It's an unbelievably good turn for a, a one-cost buffer. Energy next turn. Free orb. Even more buffers? I mean, I, I think we take even more time to set up. Why not? Four buffers and, like... We, we just want to avoid burns, obviously. That's, like, the worst part, but... I would buy his cognition any day of the week, brother. And then get these glaciers rocking. Sure, I know we're not doing much damage this turn. That's the, like, unfortunate part, but... I can still... That's... Two energy for seven damage is not that bad on a, on a turn where he only takes one per attack. Okay, we probably need to bring back, like, Lightning Storm. And then... We're, we can block the burns already. I don't think this kills you, but it... Oh, it, it kills you! It does kill you! It does! Or a Calcum, and I don't, I don't care for an Explosive Potion. I think I'd happily take an upgraded Sunder just because we have Sneko Eye. 145, I can't give you 145 gold for a relic because I have to save gold to remove the curse just in case the curse is catastrophic. Start with any card of these in your hand. It's got to be Apotheosis. It has to be. Probably draw two now. I'm feeling real clean with it right now. <laughs> now that could that could come back to bite me, but I'm feeling pretty good, honestly. Let's upgrade all our cards. And uh, zero cost cards go first. We gotta play something. I'm just thinking how I wanna do it. You do 14. If I play this, 
I'm playing this, I'm playing for playing this, because I'd like to summon some orbs, but what do, you, what do you do? I guess this gives us two frost. You know what, why, why mess with it, man? Two. Well, I, actually, you know, I, I, I know I keep flip-flopping. We defend and cool-headed, and then my thinking, it, it worked out, but I was like, worst case scenario, like, we always have a, um, a self-repair. We can afford to take a little damage for tempo and then heal off the self-repair later. It should be, like, pretty consistent. Um, I mean, we don't need the block at all. It's not a ton of damage, but it's not so bad. The, the buffers are going to ruin this guy's life if we can play good buffers. So I, I love to see that. Let's go biased. Let's go buffer. Let's go buffer. Melt him. Tempest him and sunder him because he takes more damage from later attacks. So I, I think he's a he's a nobody now. No disrespect or whatever. Um, I would happily let you hit me for 13 damage, honestly, and I'll just I'll, I'll get my orbs out there while we're still rocking biased. I completely forgot we had Aura Calcum. We got I've, don't forget about ice cream, man. You got lots of energy back here in ice cream terms. Cool headed's gonna be nice. It'd be nice to not have to use a buffer on this one. Or I could just straight up hit you for 99, which actually seems way more in keeping with what we're doing because we're trying to kill you fast because we're on a timer. It's a Time Lord, right? We're not, we don't have an anti Time Lord deck. Like, look, look at the buffs, man. <laughs> it's madness. You're done, buddy. You're done. Okay, Symbiotic Virus. I honestly think it's like semi irrelevant. I do think an attack potion could come in handy. Maybe that's madness. And I, I basically took Equilibrium because it's expensive. Welcome to the party, pal. Zero cost apotheosis is... Uh, we are living for it right now. And then you just kind of... I love a zero cost ball lightning, man. I was just going to say, you kind of play your cards in like... Um, order of usefulness. Who would have thought? Turns out the secret to slay the spire is getting good cards and then playing them. Could have fooled me. Let's, uh... I mean, this turn we may get hit. But you should play an attack potion then. And maybe, you know, step out and hit you with the with the frickin' rip and tear for no reason. Because it's not that good. But we'll go Storm. Then we'll go Bias Cognition. Then we'll dual cast you. And your life's over. Okay, good enough. I don't think we need another Tempest. I mean, we have a 31 card deck, but it's kind of like, it feels snappy, right? Like, it doesn't feel like we're, we're waiting to draw good cards that often. This turn does suck. Um, but that's, that's life, okay? I think, here's what I, well, actually, I, I'm going crazy. Buffer me, for sure. Self-repair, get it out of my hand. Obviously, we strike. Let's strike again. I'm not going to play Equilibrium. I want to redraw these cards because they're too expensive. And I didn't play Bias because we didn't have the orbs yet. But I, yeah, I could be wrong. Now, this is a turn that everybody can enjoy. We already got 30 block. Justin Timberlake voice. 30 black. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, Say what you will about Justin Timberlake, he's got a voice. He does, and I am having a hard time matching it. We already have 30 block, you should just hit. 30 block. And 6 damage for 1, there you go. And now I, I'm with 4 buffers, like... It's gonna be mighty tough for you to do anything, my friend. It's gonna be mighty tough for you to put your shoes on in the morning after I'm done with you. I mean, look at this, look at all this. Now you got a, a mouthful of lightning. And a diaper full of thunder. That's got a sting. 33 block. 30 block. <laughs> I'd say it's, it's an earworm. No doubt about that. Um, I would happily take 30 damage, to be honest with you. Because we're actually going to take zero. And this is the, the power we're outputting without having even played Bias Cognition yet. Which is kind of like, it's a very important card for us. This turn, I would at least like to use uh, less buffers. And we're already using... Uh, sorry. <clears throat> fewer buffers. There we go. How about zero buffers? That seems like a good number. Uh, 
Now, we have not won this run yet. And even though I'm talking like a like an a-hole, like it's already in the bag, oftentimes that goes sour for me. But I do want to say, ooh, <laughs> it's kind of like, I hope that it's illustrative to me. For you, I mean, you can make your own decisions. I hope that it's illustrative to me how incredible Sneko I can be if you get it early enough and you plan around it. Like, look at what we were, look at what we were able to accomplish here after getting Sneko Eye. The run went from like, ooh, this might be tough, to like, we just elite farmed on floor three while, you know, doing end sync impressions. Like, it was, it became kind of a gimme. So you have to apotheosis. You know, first things first. Let's start right there. Get our decks up. Now you gotta not take damage. There's 19 block. There's more than enough block. That allows us to play buffer. Oh, creative AI, buffer. Five cards. I will zap and sunder. Okay. Now we have only have five cards next turn, but we got a lot of good ones out there on this turn. You're doing 24 again. Um, we want to play five cards is the other thing. So this is our second bias cognition. I wouldn't mind stalling it a little bit, to be honest. Because uh, we stalled the first one. We'll draw it. Don't worry about drawing it. We'll draw it. We need to play like a... Maybe start with a glacier. A glacier is good enough. And then an electrodynamics for zero. Four more cards. Strike. Remember, you can save your energy, too. Or we could just yeet it all into a Tempest, which I think is fine, too. The, this Best thing to do, bring back something that costs zero but is good. Now we roll three energy over in the next turn. We may not need it, but we can keep storing it until eventually we can play a Tempest for, like, disgusting value. Echo Form's gonna go crazy. We could do nothing, but I think summoning lightning, especially for zero, is always... I mean, we, let me put it this way. I don't think we need to deviate from the plan we're already on. Everything's going really well. So, like, I'm, I'm happy to play six cards a turn. And, I mean, it's over. We're going to win. We, we, have, we have too much. We got too much blocking you. Thunderstrike has already hitting you pretty hard. Two more buffers. Four more buffers? <laughs> it's over, man! I would play four cards, for sure. That's a good card. Um, this is energy next turn, so it, I feel like it pays for itself. I'm not really stoked about Hello World. I think I'd rather just get a Frost Orb out there, even though it's, like, overly expensive. And then if I hit you for 42, you're going to take the next turn off. Like, to, to buff yourself. So I could effectively here play nothing. And I think that's exactly... Uh, maybe... Uh, oh, no, 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 because I don't want to... Uh, I'm thinking about the bias, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold it right here. I don't think we have to play. We can roll the energy over and maybe get an absurd Tempest. So we didn't draw Tempest, which is annoying. Obviously, we can... I mean, now I'm like, maybe we just want a 16 energy Tempest next turn. <laughs> Which will give us 17, it'll give us 34 lightnings. <laughs> um, you know what? I think either way, this will be funny. Let's do it this way, okay? So you spend a little energy playing two biased cognitions. Obviously, we'll decay twice as fast. But then throw out the, the craziest tempest you've ever seen in your life here twice. And I think we just got you, man. I mean, we, we might have been able to do like 400 damage in a single turn. That was a crazy run. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. We, we really brought it together. At the, that's, for, that's a crazy score for Ascension 13. The, you know, the score goes up as the Ascension goes up, right? I'm used to like 1100s. The 1600 here is kind of crazy. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Feeling good. I'll see you next time. Later.